to ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Austro-Hungarian Empire campaign. Alright, so last we left off, we managed to also take over northern Algeria and is in the process of filing for peace with France. Well, the thing is, uh, there's not much naval combat going on right now and uh, well I keep encountering submarines which is not fun so hopefully with 700,000 victory points uh, they will, that they would actually consider peace right now for us we are 220,000 tons because we have some some heavy ships in repairs and we actually lost uh, a light cruiser but not a light cruiser, a heavy cruiser which probably I should build another one looking at the uh, give it a sec, let it load Again, sorry, potato peasy stuff. Anyway, so most, of, actually, all of our ships are at sea. Uh, we have a battleship. We're gonna complete soon. Wait, uh, as soon as your battleships is done, so yeah. Still repairing stuff, but ideally, I would like to have peace at least for a little while so that I can refit my current fleet because it's already 1950, it's been five years. Five years of, uh, I would say, out of five years into this campaign, and I think about four, four and a half years of war so hopefully everything can come to a close take a good a little bit of time to refresh and refit the entire fleet and prepare for the next war which I think would probably be either the Soviet Union or Italy which honestly I can go either way So we has oil. Let's see, do you have anything, any colonial assets that I'm not paying attention to? Uh, not really. That's fine. Uh, all right. And on to October.
So the war continues with France. Tensions with the United States and German Empire. A goody more submarine back. At least we didn't sink any. Ooh. So here we have two battleships. Uh, Friedrich Erzog, sorry, Erzog Friedrich, and Prince Eugen. And our three heavy cruisers, the Leoben, the Krems, and the Lustenau. Versus the battle cruiser Triumph. Heavy cruiser Jules Michelet, light cruisers Deval, Hirondelle, Chateau Leroux, uh, Chateau, Ren yeah, Chateau Renault, Villa Duvero, Forbin, La Gassonnière, La Gassonnière, Luton, Fumiger, Berlin, Georges Leguerre, La Mon Piquet and a bunch more destroyers. All right, at least if not if, but when I finish this battle, hopefully, it will at least consider peace. Let's go. Okay, all right, pause. Mm, ooh, that's all. Friedrich is a little bit damaged. It's okay. So, leading the charge. We the battleships. These three. If we have cruisers, you guys are just gonna follow. And go. Speed up a little bit. Alright, pause. Slow down to 14 knots. Oh, 14 knots is fine. And really start turning to get the back turrets engaged. Oh, well, yeah, it's chugging a little bit. There's some more. This pause. This looks like the about cruiser, which has nine point six inch guns. Uh, they're not that big of a problem. At least I don't think so. All right. 13 inch guns, do you think? Come on, sink them for peace. Pause. What's this? Okay, heavy cruisers. You. The battle cruiser. Okay, the, the battle cruiser is on fire. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Pause. Mm, they're on fire. They're not going to do much. They are 16 kilometers away. Battleships, target. Heavy cruiser. Right, last salvo against the dark cruisers. Come on, 14% to hit. It's closer, it's closer. Oop, 
guys right there. Six percent. And heavy cruisers flooding. So that's the about cruiser. All right, there yeah, should be fine. Those guns are opening up. You know what? Start turning. Oh, on. Let's see the heavy cruiser. I'm just gonna get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Give it a little bit of time. And there you go. And go for the Death Conga. Ooh, come on. Oh! Oh. Thing I love to see. There goes the Jules Michelin. Nothing more beautiful than flash fire. Oh, flash fire. That goes as you push away. Light cruiser. Krems and the Lucidow is taking some hits. Ah. What? I'm gonna send you guys away. Let's see if I set you guys to retreat, right? Where are you guys going? All right. Come on. Okay. 
So, yeah, I'm going to pull gas a little bit further back. I mean, seriously, I don't think this battle cruise is going to be a bit much of a threat. But either way, I still can't afford to lose ships. Everyone, aim at you, and go. Start turning a little bit. Come on, 13 inch guns. That's a big hit. That's... Oh! Wow! Come on. Alright, you guys start turning this way. So slow down to 13 knots because that's your cruising speed. That's fine. Because three heavy cruisers are going to deal with the three young ones. Then this way. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's gone. One more hit. There you go. Pause. What do you target? You. That's not turning. This is the light cruiser. Okay, this is another light cruiser. Uh, no, this is not a light cruiser. This thing has eight inch guns. No, wait, that, those are my 8 inch guns. Turn your turrets. No. Come on. Hope we target you. Heavy cruisers. Oh, hoo hoo. The Creon's hurt bad. Eleven inch guns. My heavy cruisers have bigger guns. By the way, I just want to see how heavily armored. I forgot how heavily armored they are. I don't think they're heavily, heavy, heavily armored. Because, yeah, they're not going to be able to shoot back. We all have this. Eight. And a half inches of armor at max. And 12 point on the cutting down. But that doesn't matter because it's gonna sink. And you guys. Oh.
Yeah, no, that's fine. Carry on. That's a Renault. Thinking. Oh. Pause. That's getting a little too close for my liking. And oh, there goes the Trion. Not turning away. Pause. But come on. There, PC. Everyone target you. Shatter or no? Pause. It's, I wouldn't say it's very important, but good to do. You know, a, pause, a quick pause to just keep all the targeting aligned after each sinking, because once the target is down, um, they tend to target anything and everything. So at least if you pause after every sinking, you can, you know, make sure everything hits what you want, the target you want to hit. So, for example, after the sinking of the Chateau Renault, I can target the Roland. With the battleship, these guys. You see, this is what I mean by... If you lose the target, everything is the target. Right, pause. Come on. Terrible. Go away. I don't like this. I'm not going to lose any of them. Oh, come on. Come on, PC. Yeah, the French really sent everything they have against me here. Oh, 
I have no idea what I'm going to target. It's a target room. Oh boy. All right, five inch guns, do your thing. This is what I was afraid of. Go down. And start turning. Uh, no, turn this way. I'm sorry that that I keep pausing the gameplay here because I really really don't want to get hit by torpedoes and it's prime real estate at this moment for torpedoes. Let me turn this way. And really really take out Try to take out the light ships first. Target you. Let's pause. This is a mess. you start turning this way speed up oh that's one hit on the list now Oh, that's not good. I mean, again, this shot is really cool because this, this turret is, well, occupying a higher level of higher plane than the rest of everything else. Okay. Oh, yeah, 
not good. Yeah, this should be good angle. Oh, this now might be sinking. No. Right, pause. Either way. You're going to detach. You. Missing a turret. You are going to retreat and go. Little bus is going down. Pause. You focus on you. What happened to you? Seven thousand damage. Did you lose a turret as well? No, you did not lose a turret, but you took a lot of that bubble from the torpedo. Uh, no, it's from a three-inch gun. Okay. Either way. You know what? You've been... That's fine. Keep going. Turning this way. Pause. You've been in Krems. Uh, tree on form. Attack the Lucer now.
That's a nice hit on the destroyers. Back to you soon. Rocco. Not ready to launch. Rocco. Come on, eleven inch guns. Turning. This is not good. Those quarters is not where these things shine. Especially against destroyers. Returning. Come on! Nope! No, oh, that's a big hit. Ooh! That's not good. Pause. I'm not about to win this. But Prince Eugen in a sink. That destroy you. Nope. I'm turning you guys really, really fast. And that goes to Sirocco. You guys will retreat. Uh, full speed. Uh, again. Pause. And their guns on you. They don't take a torpedo hit. Oh no. Friends? I'll detect it. Come on! 
Ooh. Okay, that was close. Get up. Oh no. Okay, speeding up was the right choice. Give me a prompt to end battle. I'm taking it. We lost no ships. 65,000 victory points. Holy hell, that was intense. But that was an extra 65,000 victory points for us. And we did not lose a single ship. Which is great. We sunk. The Triumph, the Battle Cruiser Triumph, the Heavy Cruiser Jewels Michelet, I believe that's how they pronounce it, Light Cruiser Mont Piquet, the Ga Galissonaire, the Chateau Renault, Destroyer Acte, Acte, A. -A. DD's Somalia, Triomphon, the Filibuster, Falcon, Francis Garnier, and the Turbo, Blue Red, Sirocco, Mistro. I would say overall that's good, right? Right? And we managed to save a bunch of crew. We lost some transport in the western and central Mediterranean. And no peace. Because why not? Army losses. Well, I did say I wanted to battle with them. The new. Anyway. I'm going to send All right, let's look at the politics tab for France. Yeah. Nah. There's no peace treaty for now. But holy hell, that was a fight. Anyways, uh, I... Well, this task force, the job of this task force is done. So I'm going to move them back to... And move. Mm, submarine wise. Oh, these submarines are going to be done in a month. But whatever happens next, it will be in the next episode because that's all the time we have for this episode we've run a bit long on time for this episode 
But thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you do, please leave a like and uh, subscribe down below. And while you're down there, leave me a comment on what you think that I can do better. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys around.